crazy shift and uh, i i get the snow contract at that work so i had to shovel snow like n there's no it's, it's like god watched me play Dill me cry 3 yesterday and he's like you suck dick so i'm gonna give you a pounding of snow and he he, he just did that so we're gonna go with the original game on normal and i'm, I'm gonna eat my bag of, of, of cheese while this goes on A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation. The case was apparently closed, thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Watch out! That's it. I'm finally here. Guys, a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. to the 
station. I'll meet you there. Okay. And actually, this is my one of my favorite intros of any Resident Evil game. And I cannot wait for what they're going to do for the remake. And it starts right there, and there's like a zombie on fire and shit. It's amazing. Okay, so I do have to remember that the menu works like this. Check. It's running. HP manufactured by FN Belgium. So you can see that it, this, 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 this is very different compared to, Res to Resident Evil 1. And um, the remake, I mean, because actually it's pretty similar to the Resident Evil 1 classic on PlayStation 1 and stuff. So we start right away. I'm not going to explain much because, uh, come on, it's Risen, it's Risen Evil 2. If you've never played this, I'm your best man to watch this, but at, at the same time, I'm not going to hold your hand. So, how do I run? How do I? Here we go. So you have to actually not shoot them. They are, um, they are infinite. Wait, where's my... There we go. The knife is mostly useless. Okay, the buttons are like completely di different from uh, Risen Evil. Oh, Evil. oh no, I just walked right, right in that. Oh, there we go. So actually, they have the same path uh, at the at the beginning, even though Leon is like supposed to be on the other side, right? Just to be sure. Actually, I, I can test that later. Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human! <laughs> a human? Oh. Ooh. Sorry about that, babe. Babe? I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Yeah, remember that, you know, G's like those and animations. I'm actually showing the game to him uh, specifically, but um, this is like PlayStation 1 N N Nintendo 64. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Just is, is, isn't there supposed to be... Wait a minute. Isn't this supposed to be subtitles? Let me actually check because I don't want to ruin this. The voices are not necessarily loud. And it's not balanced with the music either. So. To. Ah, there you go. Oh, whoa. Okay, so yeah, there's there's no subtitles in the US version of the GameCube version. That's weird. Yeah, but that that's the port on GameCube, but like the graphics are pretty much identical. They didn't it's not a like a a remaster, it's just like a fucking disgusting port. Which is great, because this this game's fantastic. Alright, so there's yeah, okay. Yeah, there's no subtitles on the US GameCube version. I might actually have to download the uh, ye, the uh, Europe version. Yeah, so that's bullets. Now, so something to note, actually, the, the Leon pistol, I remember it has like 18 bullets, but I think this one is a bit more powerful. Tiny bit more powerful, it's not really much. Oh, snap! Yeah, this game is amazing. Oh, I, I remember this game being awesome. Uh, 
Oh shit. He actually fell on me, that's great. Okay, so they're they're dead. He has stopped briefing. But he also has the bow gun. It's entirely optional. You can actually leave this guy and never come back. It's really nice to be able to get that twist. Well, if like speedrunners, sometimes they, they do that and stuff. Anyway, there's like some secrets here. There's like more. Come on. I know I know you got some. There we go. Yeah, that's right. So you definitely have to check everything. I think we're done here. Alright, mouse in the screen, I'm so sorry for that. It's a year older than Tomb Raider 2 4. Yeah, but Tomb Raider 4 was on PC. Right? I think. Alright, so this is where my uh my strafing skills. So I think you can actually No. No, it doesn't work. Well fuck that. The knife is seriously useless. I've seen people use it. I think they're crazy. Alright, so this there so this way, yes, there's bullets. Alright, I might actually skip them. Now you don't have to be as economic as in Come on. Oh the sounds they make. Take a bite, it's fine. If I die, it's, it's, it's gonna be funny. I think there's nothing there. I don't remember this, this game at all. I just remember like the zones and like the master uh, puzzles, but that's it. Am I read really fucked up? By the way. Ah, the controls. Just having just played Risen Evil Evil 1 is a big mistake. Well, I mean, no, it's not a mistake, it's just... You get the point. There you go. Hidden stack of bullets, I do remember this one. Ah, shit. It's bad. I, I, I don't think I I thought like I could slip past her. I'm playing like an asshole. All oh, these beautiful sounds. I'll shoot these guys. Actually, pretty fast. Shit. I think there's actually enough ammo to kill them all on normal. It's just, you know. I actually played this game on hard and you're supposed to skip them. And actually, if you get killed here, it's fine. You just reset. Ah, oh, fuck off. That's cheap. Can't see him. Is he down or not? I, th I, th I, th I don't think he's... Yeah. Alright. Yes, please. I'm at danger. No, caution, even. Very generous in health compared to, to the first game's remake. Like, this game is, is macabre as fuck. That's the nice difference between this game and... Uh, Risen Evil 1 remake. This is like a bit more mortifying. Like it, it's a city apocalypse. It's it's completely different 
it's a different feeling. Like later we go in into the police sta station. It's supposed to be safe, but it's totally not. Shit, I might be dead because I. Alright. You dead? You dead. Thank you. Okay, this crossbow is amazing. I do have like that. I do like prefer the shotgun. The shotgun is like pretty much as powerful, but you can aim for multiple persons and stuff. Oh, that was very close. Get me in there. Carmageddon. Carmageddon pedestrians. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that cool? They're right behind you. I am hurt though. I am pretty hurt. I don't want to die. Please. One health. Give me HP. Two zombies there. Uh, I believe there's something under them. I don't care. Moving on. It's probably ammo, like right? bullshit. If it, if it's health, then feel free to comment on how much of a fucking idiot I am. And here we have the police station. I'm actually ex excited. It's great. I love this game so much. It's. It's actually still scary, too. It's not like... It is scary. It's, just, it's not, as, not as much as, like, I don't know... Well, the Resident Evil 1 remake is definitely worse with the Crimson Heads, but... Um, this game has some good stuff as, as well. It's, it's going to make you jump and stuff. Alright, so yes, let's save now. Because I did manage to save some bullets, and there's going to be enough heals. So it's fine. Claire, A. Zero one. Hall. Oh, okay. Okay. And but but by the way, if you think that I hate like the monsters of Risen Evil that I despise the most are like sharks and dogs. Okay, sharks can suck my dick, but This game has worse. Much, much worse. Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother, Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill Barry. Every last Star's team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures. In a mansion located in the outskirts of this city, Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. At the risk of their own lives, but no one believed them. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. And the game makes you leave automatically. So yes, you've seen the locker. It says Jojo fucking anime bullshit. I know, I know. I know. I believe we would just go to the door, right? We just like. Also, I I just realized I did not save. I just looked at it. No, 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 wait! I did save. Ne 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. It shows that I'm actually a bit. Oh, wait! You don't. Okay. 
It's not this, so it's actually the computer. Yeah, Claire is like... She's no police officer or whatever, but she has balls. That's pretty much the character. Woman empowerment, like back in the, the N64. Well, PlayStation, you know, whatever. Yes, no. I'll, I'll just look at it. Click. Click. Alright. So seriously, fuck this, this, uh... This police station. It's, uh... I, I specifically wanted to show you this, so don't, don't leave just yet. I know you have to go somewhere. Fuck you. you you're staying for five more minutes. It's important. Okay. Bye, knife. It's been fun. You fuck. Police memorandum. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the, pre the precinct rearrangement. The safe with four digits locks has been moved from the star's office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. 2236 Raccoon Police Liaison Department. So that's cool. So the so the stars uh, establishment, like you know, the, like the stars wing, they were they were getting ready to like get rid of it. How nice of them! All right. You get about fifty minutes. That's fantastic. What was that? See, I've, I've, the first time I played, I've played this game. I was like twelve years old, right? I was way too young for this. I was not ready for that game. It fucked me up. Me and my cousin, we, we played it to, uh, together. There was no survivors, okay? We both got mentally violated by this game, and it's great. I l we love it. Get get indoor. Get indoor. There you go. When are we going to see the raccoon chief? I need, I need this now. <laughs> the raccoon police. Oh, you, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Right, so this guy, he has no head, right? Oh, when when I saw this, I I remember shitting my pants. It was beautiful. Oh snap! Ah, <gasps> oh, they're great. So I actually wanted to see how much shots it took from a pistol, and that's actually more than I remember, so... They are a pretty vicious threat, and they can actually fuck you up. I do not remember that much. But yeah, the first time you see this, you're like, oh, so that's like the best the game is gonna do to me. Nope. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. You're gonna- you have no idea, buddy. It's locked. A spade on oh, this again. Fucking keys. Everywhere. It's fucking bullshit. That's right. So this corridor can suck my... F mm. I got some pretty... I, I got some nightmares from this game, actually, when I was younger. But I still remember vividly some of the uh, bullshit. That happens. That's also the other thing I wanted you to stay for. It's great. Hey, coffee. Mm. Yeah. Empty soda cans and junk. Also, I'm hurt. Please help. Ah. Operation report. Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. They actually say zombies. Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the, the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with, with the outside. 
We have decided to carry out an, an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and communication. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of te ter terrorism. Seriously, that's actually pretty ripe. Due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all communication caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions to unlock the weapon storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a I'm sorry. Actually, they're allergic to bullshit. Ah. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing and we have been unable to locate the key good job one of the EV breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas it has become a top priority to restore the power to in the power room and secure those locks recorder david ford oh wait 1 p.m the west barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued we sheltered the injured in the config in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. That's not a bad idea. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Bad idea. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as of yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue. Mm. Capable of pursing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentat tentatively named this creature the Licker and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Shoot it in the face! I did it! It's easy! What would you say is less responsible? Playing this at 12 or watching, or watching Alien at 10? What do you mean? What do you mean? What's this language you're talking to me with? Are these words? I don't know. Is that like a full sen sentence? I have no idea. It's a fireplace. An oil painting hangs above it. The title is... A Sacrifice to the Hellfire. Jesus. <laughs> Who puts that there? Raccoon, Raccoon City is full of, like, crazy people, man. Crazies and stuff. Playing this game when you're 12 or watching the film Alien when you're 10? Probably playing this game when you're 12 because you have responsibilities. Watching a movie, you, 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 you can pause it. You can go away. You can drop the sound. In this game, though, you can die and it's your fault. So, it's you know, it's a bit more, it's a bit more scary because of that. Oh shit. I do man. You you can abate. No. Oh there's so many. Oh my god. I kinda forgot that this game has like so many fucking fuckers. Go away. Don't touch me. Jesus Christ. Guys? Oh, I'm fucked up. I'm actually pretty hurt. Ah, oh, come on now. There's actually a slight auto aim as well. You don't have to be very precise, thankfully. Now, actually, in, in this game, what's cool is that they're actually, uh, they stay dead forever. Thank God. It's too dark to see anything outside. Oof. That's creepy. 
Yes. This game can easily make you panic, too. It's not like... I don't know, like... Some other horror games you can choose. It's fine. Alright, so this place. It's locked. Special kind of key is, is re required. Kick it! Kick it in the face! We can develop film here. That's actually important for later. Moving on. What's this? Nothing, actually. Yeah, I could save if I had some blah blah blah. Operation Weep Report 2. Hashtag we fucked up. Early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. Not David, oh. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for her survival continues to diminish. We won't last long. We won't last much longer. I'm sorry. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewer through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time. We lock the only door leading to the underground, you fucks, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. You fuckers. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to, who to whoever may find it. Recorder, Elliot Edward. Alright, cool. It's been filed somewhere. In, in Claire's pants. Yeah, I, again, hidden stuff everywhere, all the time. And there's a map here, I, I believe. No, that's not a map, it's just a waste of time. There's also this. I guess I'm actually gonna try to keep on going. Like, I'm gonna... S yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save and I'm not going to heal up right away because I, I wanna find red herbs. If you remember, when you combine green and red, it creates something that heals you completely. I'm gonna do that. It's a dark room, but there's only a curtain separating it from a normal lit room. Anything developed there will look like shit. Look, they don't have quality in mind. It's the police business for Raccoon City. Like last time they had to develop film, it was like three years ago. <laughs> Alright, so let's actually save these. I know it's not smart. Why was I ever smart? Seriously. <laughs> It's gonna be fine! It's gonna be fine! It's gonna be okay! Alright, so now we have to go up. Oh, by the way, this this loading screen. Look at it. Zombos? It's a, it's, a, it's a police department run by woodland creatures. They can't even operate a camera. Eh. The 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 knob turns, but the door won't budge. It seems to be sealed from the other side. Alright, so we got this super puzzle here. It's easy enough. Something is written on the mounting. The god of sun and the god of moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release the red soul. So we got puzzles. Get that shit cool. Come on. Come on. Alright, so we have to. No. Ah, oh God. These, these super awesome controls. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, you have to not run. Okay. Makes sense. The, the realist Oreo is now hosting you. Thank you. Million thanks! Oh, look at this fucking bot shot! Seriously, they knew what the fuck they were doing! Capcom, I, I, you're, you're so good at this. You, you keep doing that. Effortlessly, it's beautiful. <laughs> I 
I have to say, I remember why I'm a fan of, of Claire actually more than, than Jill. It's the it's the it's the jacket. She has like a red jacket, and and I I, I well I mean it's like pink, somewhat. I'm a sucker for red clothing, man. It, it, it's all there is to it. It's the it's the it's not the only reason why I love Jill. I love Jill because she's in Code, Code Veronica, and Code Veronica is like amazing. Actually, these fucking ancient riddles and museum pieces in a random police department. Well, this place was pretty much cre created for the, for the same reason the mansion in Resident Evil 1 was made, right? It's like, they made all of these fucking um, puzzles. Umbrella did, did, did these puzzles because this is pretty much like a, a testing ground for them. I think. I could be lying. I, I am known to lie. Oreo, don't fucking... Don't fucking trust me, man. Don't do this. <laughs> Leave! Get out of here! Save yourself. Marksman contest winner, Chris Redfield, yeah. So that's why she's uh, here, by, by the way. She's uh, Claire Redfield, in case you don't know that. For whatever reasons. And she's looking for her brother because he's he's been gone missing. Right? So he's she's trying to find her. Him. There isn't anything useful on this shelf. All right. It's trashed. Someone must have searched the desk in the trash. Sorry, I'm I'm not sorry. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah. All right, so there's nothing useful on this shelf. It's like just this stuff here, though. Ah, uh, re replica of a gun. Right? No, it's not. I think Leon has like something here. The desk is disorganized and untidy. It probably reflects the, the owner's personality. That's Chris. And there's a book there. Chris's diary. There we go. Ah, shit. Oops. There's a medal. The unicorn medal. That's a... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's um... Better the map system. Chris's diary. Okay. I talked to the chief today, once again, but he refuses to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella uh, conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone inf infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella em employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. <laughs> it looks like I'm running out of options. Like, that's like eight days later. We've been receiving a lot of, of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the, on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't enough done enough damage already. We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. So here's the, the thing. It's actually for this reason that uh, Wesker, who's still alive, by the, by the way, he's, that's like, look, it's like spoilers, but not really. And, um, you know, Wesker's like, I'm, I'm going to pull the plug on this, kill this, this fucker, steal that G-Virus for, for myself and leave. But obviously that went down to shit. And now uh, the whole city is on is on fire, so good job, Wesker. Once again, you prove your your your, su your superior god skills. By the way, the realist Oreo, little dope. Um, I speed run Leon A and play Claire B yesterday, but I am good in though. That's great. That's awesome. You you must be. You must be super excited to like you know waiting for um. The remake. Can, can I not access this? I guess not. Yeah, the remake of Resident Evil 2. To be honest, I'm more excited about this than like Resident Evil 7. Alright, so Claire has access to the grenade launcher. It's OP as fuck. And that's great! I love it. Okay. Yeah, there's like nothing else to do here. Awesome. We're moving on. Oh, wait. It's a fax. You guys know about the fax technology? It's great! Alright. 
So that's more reading. Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. Uh, Mr. Chris Fitfield, Raccoon City Police Department, Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. Now, actually, the, 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 the request of who, and this is coming from, like, who as well. And uh, we'll, we don't know. It's a mystery. I'm, I'm not going to spoil much of this, you fucks. <clears throat> Number one, regarding G-Virus, currently under development in the, um, by Umbrella Incorporate. So far, it is unconfirmed. Uh, oh, my God, words. Unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. Hashtag it does. We're continuing with our investigation. Two, regarding Mr. Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds in bribes from Umbrella Incorporated. Over the last five years, he, has, he was apparently involved in the cover-up of the Mansion Lab case along with several... Other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons has been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges but what released due to cir circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme, ca extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. So he's a great dude. Him and Chris must have been friends. Am I right? You lied to me, Chris. We have the chief here already. See, I told you he'd, he'd be around. Yeah, he, he's around, but he's not here in this room in my pants right now. He's not there. We have to look for him. By the way, he, he G thinks that the chief of police of Raccoon City is like a chief ra raccoon. It's not. That's not true. It's lies. And you know it. This whole fucking... Alright, so we can't go there. We have to go back. We have that. Well, oh yeah, we have a, a medallion. That's right. We gotta go back. And we'll do that. I bet you don't even see him under his officer's hat. <laughs> oh, whatever. You're an idiot, but I love you. Alright, so I might die here. Possibly. See, actually, it's great that I'm playing this again because I'll know this for next playthrough. Uh, I can actually save on the way back because there was no zombies up there. And now... Uh, this. It, oh, yeah, it actually made me jump. Oh, it's great! You fucks <sighs> that gave me nightmares when I was a kid that's the scene I was talking about this when I say there's you know the the grasping hands in Resident Evil 2 you just experimented that but a bunch of zombie hands there's like eight of them just like grasping you trying to take you outside with them for like fun trips and, sh and shit that gave me fucking nightmares man Oh, I got so fucking scared. No! It happens again. <laughs> oh, man. I remember showing this to my sister, and she was like, there's no way this can, like, you know, like, fucking Slender Man. Or whatever bullshit she thought was. No, it, no, it was fear. And she was like, fear is, like, scary and stuff. And I, I'm like, sis, I'm going to blow your fucking mind away. And, uh,. Oh, she, she jumped a mile away, and she's like, I'm not playing this anymore. I'm done. Bye. And then she just left forever. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the grenade launcher, of course. I'm going to waste this here. You're fucking nuts. We'll take this, though. I'm going to save. No, I'm not going to save. It's fine. Uh, and the uni unicorn medal we, we're going to use now. The red crystal. There's something in the walls. <laughs> it's a boy in the walls. Oh, no. Horror movies, new meta, boys in walls. <laughs> right, I'll wait for the unicorn, beautiful beast. Wonder what we have to do. Now again, whoever designed this place is a fucking asshole. There we go. There's a key. 
There's a boy in the walls. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. This was so loud. If you don't know Red Leather Media, then uh, yeah. So check. This is... It's in the shape of a spade. Spade key. Ah, right, so now we can go check the spade key and regret our life. All of it. Let, let me just go... Actually, let me, let me just go there. She's taking care of Grandpa's bones. <laughs> yeah. I know you've watched that, that review too. I, it's okay. Oh, snap. Zombos. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. I will need reinforcements. Shoot away! Okay. There's so many zombies. Look at this. It's amazing. Might have issues here. Bye, boys. It's been fun. Woo! Get a turn. What's actually great is that you can actually enter this place first and uh, no amount of ammunition you will have will like help you. And it's great! It's fantastic! This game straight up kills you. And it, 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 it doesn't say I'm sorry. If it's going to kill you, it's going to kill you and that's it. She is pretty good with that pistol, I have to say. Oh. None of that, buddy. There's another one. There's a zombie in the walls! What's that emoji? What the fuck you doing? So you, you saw this, this guy's head? Look at his head. Look at it. Piece of shit. And there's another fucking asshole right, th right, right there. He's coming to get you. He's not dead. Come on. He's not dead. Your mom knows he's not dead. There you go. Now he's dead. This whole fucking place. There's there's actually lots of zombies in 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 this game, and uh, it's great. Like 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 I said, it's fantastic. Is there something here? No, no. Ah shit! Nah, I didn't want to do that. Oops. All right, I'm going back. Sorry about that. Yes, please, we'll need them. Look, look at this view. Beautiful view. So what's the code? Acid rounds, and then a, and then paper. Police station map. Will you take it? Yes, I'll take the map. Awesome. Of course, there's something behind the counter. You know that? Oh no. We'll have to come back. Yeah, it's great that you know, like they they they're still like having. Fun times. I think that this guy's actually dead. Like, actual dead. Good for him. Let's 
locked heart. So it's not this way. <sighs> oh yeah, and we're outside. Okay, I could actually heal up here. But I'm still going to wait a bit. Like I said, worst case scenario, I die. I mean, it's luck from inside. Can't do shit. Again, just like in Resident Evil 1, I will leave some of these on the ground because if I just need them, I'll just go and, f and fetch them. Speedrunning tactics. You, you don't need to, to bring all of these with you. This will be like somewhat close to a 100%. This guy is... He's stressing me up. He's being a real pain. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm drunk. Bruh. Trips on everything. She is a girl. In a, in a zombie thing, so you know. I can't wait for that remake. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And it's actually pretty close as well. Like two months. Not even. It's gonna be fan fucking tastic. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to heal up and save now because we killed lots of zombies and stuff. That's okay. Wait a minute. There we go. We actually have to go back this way, but. Yes. There we go. That, that's all I need. Let's deposit the acid rounds. We don't need that. Let's get this. The red jewel, I seriously don't remember where it goes. So I guess we'll just carry it with, with, with us indefinitely. Walking around with no guns. Yes. Alright. And actually, that's going to be... Wait, no. How much time has passed? Like, seriously. Forty-one. It's not even... I'm gonna... I don't want to stream too much of this, because I'm gonna skip to something else. What's going on is that I, I have like a funeral uh, tomorrow, and I, I have to be ready for that, so I don't want to play too much of top this. So I'm gonna go and switch games right now, actually. So yeah, uh, I will stream this, of course, once more very soon. Like, if it's not Saturday night, it's going to be uh, Sunday. Already got nothing to worry about and stuff. I'm just gonna run around and you know what? Let's let's just fire the grenade launcher at something and then we'll just leave. <laughs> fire it at something. Do it. But yeah, I told you this game is fantastic, man. It's so good. Grenade launcher, yeah. Woo! It's like it's like it's a multi grenade launcher. How cool is that? It makes no sense. And I love it. Next episode, I'm gonna shoot it at somebody's face, okay? <laughs> Alright, so yes, I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna jump straight into... Um, Dylan McRae 3, because I'm still gathering scenes for stuff. I'm actually gonna go and...